it is intense and not dark well I just hope that you really really like super sauce <laughs> I hope you do this record is called super key generator by uh, give me a second here. Covario, 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 maybe, maybe, probably. Yeah, Covario. And it's the third record yeah, I got sent on my list to review. Um, it's like a solo project, I guess, from Japan, probably. So, this record, Super Key Generator, I have heard other Kobario, uh, Kobario, I don't know how, what I'm saying, records in the past. I heard Mix Speed, Mix, mix Speed Action, Mix, mix Speed Action, and Chaotic Solutions, which they tend to go in that same way. So, super key generator. Mm, well, I mean, let's start with the first track already. We get this music that is incredibly colorful, incredibly energetic, and it has these emotional piano sections and anime girl samples. But then the second track is heavier, a lot heavier already, and it sounds like industrial cyber metal it could be either a real guitar or some distorted scenes you know with the high end sometimes the guitar splits so thinly that i just can't help but think that the guitar it's actually a synth to sound kind of like a guitar i guess <laughs> <laughs> and then you get plus beats and there are in anime girl samples and then they come on in and swap and then we get a dance beat and then we get glitchy abrasive sounds so yeah the thing is that this record is, is going to be very mm, how do i say it in a way that is understandable exhausting <laughs> this record is going to be exhausting anyway the third track already starts more wishful it feels like going around through the sky or, or a field flying and then you get a cheap tune melody very, that's very cute again but then right after you get again blast beats from the drum machine like <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and and even then but even then but even then the wishful tone of the melody stays through the blast beats and then it goes back again to the dance beat so it's going to be it's going to be a wild ride the full track is pretty playful but it has this techno beat with the super happy chord of the super saw and then again a playful chip tone section it sneaks in and then the super saws that are just incredibly happy through the plus beats go like <laughs> the sixth 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 track six track six feels like a magic show and then it goes back full industrial metal and then goes back to cyber trance or something like that so the thing is that this record this record mixes so many genres but they are all ad adjacent to each other so they just blend perfectly in a colorful abrasive mess it is entirely colorful and just sugary it's very sugary but the thing is that sometimes you get these noisy speeder chord and noisy blast beats that are going so fast that it feels more like a constant stream of noise than a proper beat so pay attention to that as well the seventh track it has this epic aura around it but then it gets buried in the machine drum track 
then the sound builds up and the beat drops and we just end up with a super sauce and this noisy beat it's just so noisy so noisy and we also have stuff like the 11 track that has this symphonic choral sounds and me medieval 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 music beats it builds up it builds up and then when the beat drops again with a lot of noisy beats and distorted synths and super sauce this is just like so pandering if you want to take a little taste of what this album is about i think you can try with a song resurrection it's called resurrection and it's probably the most accessible of the tracks since the playful melody that uh, it takes off with it plays all through the whole track it can get maybe a little abrasive at times but resurrection never adds a noisy section or changes the mood the track abruptly it has always that uplifting energetic spirit but yeah the thing is that aside that one track resurrection the other songs are always swapping around constantly like saying i'm going here oh i'm going here they will hear like a foil yeah so yeah <laughs> so overall thoughts who will i recommend this to and who will i not recommend this to i mean i think that with such extreme kinds of music genres it's easy to have to see who i will not recommend it to because you know this music is just incredibly abrasive incredibly energetic it's impulsive it's fast it's demanding if you're not looking for that kind of extreme you will most not likely like the record now if you like intense music like thrash metal death metal black metal punk cross punk and all that kind of stuff well you might say well maybe i can check this out or you can try some electronic because i like intense music the thing is that you might still not like this record either if you do not like that cute playful fantasy sounding music with a futuristic futuristic edge to it this album has a lot of anime samples cartoon sounds and it's very fantasy-ish very innocent fantasy i mean it's very futuristic with its sound you know but it's very playful and cheerful and all that kind of stuff if you want something with anger you're not going to find it here so yeah and yeah if you don't know, like super sauce and that kind of sound that like uh, like wah, 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 wah. <laughs> the thing is that this album is drowning in super sauce in my change the genre or a chiptune beats or metal beats at times or splitter chord beats and and all that hardcore idiom stuff a bit but it's mostly using super sauce for all of its sound design so yeah be prepared so who would i recommend this to well i mean if you're that kind of person that likes pop intense crushing music and if you're looking for an album that feels like 100 cans of the most sweet sugary energy trick you can taste off you will likely very likely enjoy this record the thing is that you have to take into account those noisy sections at times like splitter car and harsh EDM electronics at times because so it's not like super mega happy like like saying maybe tempa or some j chord i guess because it's sometimes like sometimes like like da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that so it's never painful to listen to but it will throw you out of a loop if you are just trying to find a thread to the songs all these songs feel less like songs at times and more like hundreds of pieces and sections scattered around and the only thing they share in common between tracks is the tempo so you might be asking what is my rating for this record well acid bubblegum have you have you have you have you, have you, have you ever had acid bubblegum it's neat. A 
acid bubble gum just melts inside your mouth and it resets your whole brain. Because if you have anxiety and you're lacking some sensory stimulus and you feel something bad is going to happen because all of the silence and all the silence just feels to you like the anticipation to a tragedy, the acid bubble gum just throws all sorts of sensations in your tongue. Acid bubble gum just shows you with all sorts of sensations. It's a bit acid, a bit sweet, a bit painful. It supercharged you with this taste and the feeling of chewing the gum little by little. But then you keep getting more and more gum because it loses the taste. Then you get more and more gum. And after the 20th gum you have had, your tongue is completely burned and it hurts to eat for a couple days. But then you do it again the next week. But this is because the sensation is just so great. <sighs> I, I need to get more acid bubble gum. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So yeah, this record is acid bubble gum. And I'm not saying it because of the intensity of the music per se, but it's just because of the super saw design thing. Because I know that so much super saws can feel over pandering to some people. So yeah, uh, maybe prepare to have your tongue a little burned and have fun and and yeah, I mean, I guess that's it for this review, I guess. Goodbye, my friend. We will talk later about this. I mean, if you if you can stay, if you want to stay here, stay. I have no problem whatsoever. Just we'll just you know, sleep a bit. Are you still here? Oh my God! Listen, it's too soon. Okay, I need you to leave by now. Okay. We'll talk later. Goodbye.